And there are new developments this morning in another fatal shooting incident that took place in Orlando, one, one that happened just the night before the attack on the Pulse nightclub. The victim in that first shooting, her name was Christina Grimmie. She was a young, promising singer and songwriter. Now, authorities believe that there is absolutely no connection between these two attacks. Grimmie, she was a YouTube sensation on the cusp of hitting it big. So many folks were rooting for her as her career was on the rise from Hollywood stars, to the New Jersey community that she grew up in, and we are now learning more about that gunman who took her life. ABC's Eva Pilgrim has more. Good morning, Eva. Good morning. Christina Grimmy grew up here in South Jersey, but she was well on her way to becoming a worldwide name. This morning, police are telling us the gunman who shot her drove from St. Petersburg, Florida, all the way to Orlando, shooting her as she was signing autographs after a show. This morning, fans grieving as we find out more about what happened to rising pop star Christina Grimmy. Came in like the, the former voice contestant gunned down after this performance in Orlando Friday night. Oh, Police have now identified the shooter as 27 year old Kevin James Lobel. Just hours before her death, Grimmy posting this call out on social media. Please come to the show if you live near Orlando, Florida. After the concert, nearly 120 VIPs getting up close and personal with the star for a meet and greet. These photos with fans capturing those moments. But then three gunshots went off. Pop, 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 pop. I was traumatized. I didn't know what was going on. The suspect, armed with two guns and a knife, according to police, shooting Grimmy. Her brother, Mark, tackling him to the ground before Lobel turned the gun on himself. Following the news of her death, music's biggest stars taking to social media to remember the gifted songstress. Adam Levine tweeting, absolutely devastated and heartbroken. Nick Jonas posting on Instagram, hashtag rest in peace, Christina. Selena Gomez overnight tearfully dedicating a song to the fallen starlet at her Miami show. And this morning, many of her fans turning to Grimmy's own words for comfort. Sometimes God allows terrible things to happen in your life and you don't know why, but that doesn't mean you should stop trusting him. And police are going through the shooter's belongings, trying to find a motive. They say it does not appear the two knew each other. Dan and Paula. It's just such a sad story and such a horrific coincidence that, as Paula pointed out, these two incidents took place within 24 hours or roughly 24 hours of one another. And again, police are telling us there's no connection at all. Eva Pilgrim, thank you very Thanks, much. Eva.